Right, we're going to run up this way and just pop down this little hill to get this soul. What a soul is, is basically a soul is the currency of the game. It's used to purchase items from merchants and level up at bonfires. And you get them from pickups, you can sell items to a certain person and you can also you also get them from killing enemies. Damn, we sexy. Right, here we are at Filing Shrine. This is pretty much the main hub for the game. Right, now that's gone away, we're going to rest at this bonfire. And we're going to level up once or twice. Um, what do we want? Let's go with... I, I like round numbers, so 10 dexterity is nice. That looks pretty good, yeah. And let's go with 1 endurance. I mean, yeah, another one, so 15 strength. Just contradicting what I said about liking round numbers, but hey ho. I'm gonna leave that dude alone because I, d I don't like him. Just personal vendetta. In other words, I, I attacked him and he killed me many, many times. I've just gone the wrong way. Right, I'm just gonna go away and do a quick little roundup of all the little items around here. I run down here, there's a soul here. Uh, it's V stairs. There's the one down. There's probably one in there, but I'll get that later. This guy here is called Petrus. He is part of the Way of White Covenant, which deals in miracles, and he also sells some basic miracles. Right, another soul there. Go over to this little elevator shaft and drop down. And we will see four little, ch four little chests here. Open them. Well, not little chest, but pretty big chest to be honest. Morning star and a talisman. A talisman is what you use to cast miracles. Hermit bone that teleports you to the last bonfire you rested at. And finally, we get Lloyd's talismans. I'll discuss one of their uses later on. Alright, so we drop down into the graveyard, cemetery, whatever you want to call it, and now skeletons will start to spawn from the floor. And we are just going to try and avoid them all, because, ow, they do lots of damage, and yeah, I'm probably going to die here. Let's quickly heal up, because, yep, I want to survive for as long as possible to collect as many items as I can. And I've got up here, yeah, there's the Zweihander, there's binoculars down there, which I think are pretty much useless. And last of all we have a winged spear. I've never used a winged spear, I just don't really like it. And it looks a bit crap in my opinion, so yeah. Well, let's run away, we have an army of skeletons chasing us, which is pretty much never good. Actually, never good, but I don't think that's ever been a good thing, like, ever. Right, run up this way. Ooh, one fell off the edge and died. And they're still following me. Collect this last soul, roll off the edge, take some damage, and run back to the bonfire. 
Can I rest at it? I can, which means the skeletons are no longer following me, hopefully. Oh, I'm just so far ahead of them. Yep, we're good. Alright, so what do we get? Cracked red eye orbs that allow you to invade another player's world when logged in online. I'll go into more detail about that at a later point. Um, yep. And let's continue on. You want to go from a bonfire, just like hug the right of the place, and you will find a huge tree and some stairs going up cliffside, and you'll come to here. These are just these enemies are called hollow soldiers. Pretty weak enemies. Annoying at first because there are quite a few of them. But they're good practice to get. They're good combat practice when you event when you first start off. And they're pretty good later on actually when trying to perfect other techniques. Right, we're going to avoid this dude firing fire bombs for now and kill this guy. Wait for him to another throw another fire bomb and then we'll go ham on him. Back him off the edge. We've drawn aggro of this dude. He will do some ninja jumping attack flip thing. Some form of martial arts. Right, then we'll kill him. And then we will hopefully plunge attack this dude. Yeah, there we go. And pick up the soul. Fling his corpse around a bit. There's an item over there, so you hold B or circle or whatever you want to call it. Let go and tap it. And you will run and then when you tap it, it will make you jump. And we will get a ring of sacrifice when we get over here. That basically means when you have the ring of sacrifice equipped, when you die, you lose nothing, I'm pretty sure might be slightly wrong yeah you lose nothing so you keep all your souls and your humanity which are these things I mean you use them they appear in your top left corner where it's currently got a grey grayed out double zero so yeah let's run up this way towards the first area it's probably actually running Great. Collect another soul. Say hello to this little rat bastard. Alright, soul have lost and dead, and let's keep on winning. Alright, here we are in the first area or second area if you can't find it because the first one called the undead berg dispatch these two guys break some barrels is he aggro yes he's aggro so let's go and kill him watch out for that dude running out of that building at the same time Ooh, lots of damage. What was a T-drop? Firebomb. Mm. Eh, not the worst thing to get as a drop, I suppose. Alright, we broke these barrels, let's drop down now, because we're a couple of goodies down here. Peek over the edge, with a little... There are two of the little buggers hi hanging off the edge, so... When you jump down, they're gonna curl up and try and kill you. But, in fact, we got the jump on them. And on this way, kill him. As we walk back, this door right here, well, doorway, because it's not actually a door. I struggled to find this so much because it just blends in with the scenery so well. Look like he's running past you, you don't expect it, I swear. It might just be me. No, who knows? Might just have a really bad eyesight. <clears throat> right, as we walk out here. You'll notice more of them, so we can attack the first two, and they will just fall to their deaths. But these two will jump up, 
wait for him to attack, get the block, and then attack. Pick up some rubbish, that is, you may deem rubbish to be fairly insignificant, but as long as you have one of them <coughs> per playthrough, it actually turns out to be quite a useful item. Alright, Plagiarist Corpse, we got another Humanity. And we're back here now. Alright, let's traverse for White Light. Another here, pick up yet another soul. And holy shit, the dragon. Well, it's actually a wyvern because the dragons are pretty much extinct, but yeah, m minor details. Avoid the crossbowmen and just try and dance past and kill these guys. It's often good to lure them down here out of a range of the dupe of a crossbow. Ow, that was careless. Ah, whoa, 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 that was close. Alright, he's just going to continue shooting at nothing for now, so we're going to open this door. And we're going to pillage this corpse for a wooden shield. Which I'm pretty sure is worse than the spider shield, because I think the spider shield's pretty good. Yeah, the spider shield's pretty good, it's got 100% physical damage reduction, meaning you don't take damage while you block. Whereas a wooden shield has 93%, so you take like 7% of the enemy's attack as damage when you block an attack with that. So yeah, it's pretty shit in my opinion. Go up here, block his attack and kill him. See he's a mean person. Curses. Interesting. Anyway, we're gonna get to here, we're gonna light the bonfire. <coughs> uh, what level are we? We're at level 7. How many souls do we have? A lot. And may as well use them all. Oh my god, there's so many. Why can't you just use them all at once? It's one thing I really wish I had in this game, just use all. Be such a great option. quicker. Almost there. <coughs> Alright, now that's done, we're going to get back into my inventory and start using... we're going to use two humanity. <coughs> using humanity fully restores your HP, whereas an Estus Flask only, use it, only restores some of it, depending on the level of the Estus Flask. But humanities are seemingly harder to come by. Seemingly. Alright, now that we have two of them, we're going to rest at the bonfire, which will cause every enemy we just killed to respawn. Yay! Uh, let's. Don't really need HP right now. If you're dying a lot, then it may be worth getting a bit of HP early on, but I don't personally need it. So let's go. Strength level and an endurance level because endurance is good. And we shall now reverse our hollowing to become human, mainly so we can become pretty and I can actually stand to look at my face. There we go. Oh, what a sexy beast. I totally would. I mean, what? No one heard that. Right, then we're going to offer our remaining humanity to kindle the bonfire, so every time we rest, rest at this bonfire, it will now give me 10 Estus Flasks, instead of the usual 5 for just having a normal bonfire. 